Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, we are back today with not necessarily a brand new concept. We've already done the video before. It hasn't reached the audience at which I'd like it to. So we're gonna start from step one. We're gonna take it nice and slow, just for anyone really watching. My goal, our goal here today, I want y'all to learn how to prepare your officers, what you should be thinking about when you're field fighting, and how to basically make yourself more effective as a killing machine. Because uh, that's something that's what we play this game for. Um, we play this game to make sure our enemies are dead, you know, essentially. Um, how to kill our enemies the fastest 101, basically. Um, I mean, first things first, you're always gonna need four or five marshes out there on the field. That goes without saying. More troops equals more fighting power equals more ability to kill your opponent. Next thing is, you're always going to make sure they're all tier 5s. Now, tier 4s to tier 5s, that's fine. Um, just make sure you're, you're consistent. You're keeping it consistent and you have your best units out there. Thirdly, keep yourself prepared. More troops means more troops going into the garage. In Biozone, you can have a max of, if at least at my level, you're at least looking at 675,000 for a garage capacity. That's quite a lot of troops, you know? But if you're considering how many troops you can make in a month, um, and you're fielding like 1.5 million troops out there, that's, you're gonna take heavy losses. So you have to be, you have to be conservative with how, many, how much troops you're losing. If not, you have to be very liberal with your healing. You have to be healing basically every second. If you're on target, you should be in the garage healing. Um, if you're fighting out there in the field and you're um, and you know you have a chance, put them in a tower, heal up, keep yourself healed. As I cannot stress that enough, uh, you do not want to be caught with your pants down out, out there. You know, so got that cursory kind of basics bullshit out of the way let's get on to the real thing officer pairing officer pairing officer pairing officer pairing it cannot get any more basic than this you're gonna want to keep the same kind of actually let me get the cursor on this motherfucker You're going to want to keep these officer types the same with each other, especially tank destroyers. Tank destroyers pair with other tank destroyer officers. Um, tank officers go with other tank officers. I mean, uh, you know, general siege should go with other general and siege officers. You know, you're the... When you're picking a troop, when you're picking something to go out on the field, your goal should be to kill whatever it can the best. If you're fielding tank units, send them after the infantry. If you're fielding anti-tanks, send them after the tanks. Same with infantry. If you're fielding infantry, go after those slow-ass anti-tanks. You'll kill them so much easier, so much more effective when you're trying to counter each unit. Um, so best so most op i mean I, i'm not i'm not gonna pretend like i have the most optimal pairings right now but use what you can for me because i don't have a five star diana yet um where is she at mine's only four star right now while i'm working on amanda or angelica um i go with lilith and i go with maria for my anti-tank units because that is the most optimal for what I have. They're both five star, they're both level 60 maxed out with good anti-tank weapons. And their talents are set appropriately. Um, I think I just got two on there for the edge of defense because the, yeah, I mean, basically it, it's it's either, either or really. Um, you know, with Grace, 
pair him up with Nat. Um, your goal with a great snap march is to slow the enemy down as much as possible and to take as much of the, of the fire as you can. Um, that's what it's there for. That's, it is literally a tank soak unit. That's, that's what Natalia is here for. Um, she got the good heals. Natalia's got, or uh, Grace has got the good defense. Um, if you're looking for more offensive power, go for tank, go for Natalia and Catherine. You'll get the, the great skill damage, and then um, you'll get the good tank uh, damage boost, and then the healing from Nat uh, Natalia. These are just things you need to be thinking about. Are you going to go for solid defense, or are you going to go for more attack power? Um, so that would affect which officers you're going to pair up with, right? Um, now for infantry. Because mine is only level 4, 4 star, right? Uh, but the skills are basically maxed out. I still put Angelica in the elite spot. And then I have Riven as my secondary. Um, well, one, because uh, at level 5 star, you'll get your talents more effective. Um, even if uh, Angelica is only 4 star, you're still going to get those talents versus the other way around. I would still, I wouldn't be able to use uh, the talents that Angelica has. Um, and now with Riven in the second spot, I can still use those talents, meaning these are still more effective in the second slot versus if I had it the other way around. Um, so going back to officer pairings, officer pairing, officer pairing. I can't say that enough. Angelica in an optimal situation would go the best with Amanda or Sakura. Um, your your best actual march though for anti for anything infantry will be Sakura and Amanda. You'll get your highest damage bonuses. You'll provide the best damage DPS to your allies, and you'll basically cream any team uh, team fight there is because you'll make it easier for your allies to kill as well, especially if they're packing uh, tier fives as well. You're going to decimate your enemies much faster um, and then with amanda damage boosting normal attacks it's just it doesn't get any easier than that um, when you're talking about optimization for anti-tanks your best anti-tank field march would most likely be amanda or i'm sorry ling and um diana one if ling is awakened you get anti-healing and you can deal with damage up three targets at once on your uh, skill awakening. So, oh, I'm sorry, on your skill being released, basically. So you hit three targets, and then you reduce their healing effects for by thirty percent. You can't. It, that's it's crazy. So you pair that with Diana, and her skill you don't have to have it awakened reduces the target's effect by thirty percent. It doesn't say it doesn't stack. So that's 60% reduced healing for five seconds. Um, not to mention high skill damage and it's on any tank. So you're killing any Natalia March out there. And believe me, there's a lot of them out there. Uh, tier four is tier five, doesn't matter. You're gonna kill the crap out of it. If anything else, shut down its healing. And if you shut down Natalia's healing, that's, they're basically done for. Um, your optimal marches for like base soloing are probably going to be Ling and um, Diane as well. Um, for field fighting and for base soloing, um, you might want to invest in a Car 98K um, just for the. Uh, no, that's not it. This is it. So slap this on one of your, your base soloing units and you'll. Uh, well, they'll lose more of the troops. Basically, it's what, 7% of a seriously wounded troops at level one. So, there's a no-brainer, really. So, 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 so. Um, other field fighting units you might want to consider. Jessica is not that bad of a field fighter. Um, it's uh, kind of more strictly for, for gears or like defending um, objectives. But you're going to want to use Lilith and probably either Diana or Ling um, for your anti-tanks. 
again, Ling for the triple shot, um, and then the anti-healing as well. But then also increases active skill damage. You're gonna definitely want that for, for Ling. Um, that way, that's also boosting uh, Lilith's uh, skill damage. It's, I mean, it just it stacks with each other and you're gonna do an insane amount of damage. Um, so you'll be able to kill those anti or uh, tank marches pretty quick. So. Now, I've gone over a few legendary officers. I'm not saying that epic officers are um, bad by any means, by any stretch of the mind. You can still take a Riven and Evelyn march out there with infantry and still fuck shit up. Evelyn's ability to heal units out there on the field, heal your allies' units, that's pretty damn good. Um, especially when we're doing the Gorgon, you couple that healing with Natalia's healing, our marches will never die. It's, it's gonna be quite nice. I might actually switch it to Angelica, Evelyn, just for the secondary healing. Um, when stacked with other Evelyn marches, it's, it'll be insane. It's just these things you gotta keep in mind when you're you're picking your officers. They're good at some things, and some officers are better at other things. Um, you know, the the march used to be Catherine Abigail, but now I just got um, I just got word, and I field tested this in in uh, Raiders just an hour ago or a couple hours ago. Uh, Natalia, Catherine, that makes a hell of a march. You're getting your high skill damage out there, and you're also getting stellar healing from Natalia. You slap a couple of those type 50s on there with a 20% attack boost, and you're, you're fucking slaying out there. It's it's crazy. Um, again, you're going to miss out on that, that active defense um, boost from Grace, but... You'll get in in return. You'll get. You'll still have the healing, and you'll have a higher skill damage. So take it for what it's worth. You might lose more troops, but you'll cause a lot more damage. You'll kill a lot faster, basically. Um, now, otherwise, you can um, for like anti tanks wise, you can also use Monica here. Um, definitely something to be considered. I mean, that skill, of course, you. Know, also a gatherer but you're gonna have like hit and run this is a great skill um you're gonna have the attributes boosted by 15 percent each um for attack and defense at least and then i mean you can't really beat that range reduction um that's also gonna stop that uh that healing factor um or just any anyone really it's it's gonna stop the, the rages um uh, from getting released basically um so, I mean, again, if you don't have, like, another five-star uh, anti-tank, Monica is, is a good one. Maria, is, of course, is a good one. Um, but you're definitely going to want to prioritize getting Diana out there. Um, if not if not Diana, get Ling. Um, definitely. Especially with those experience boosts, or experience books you get for defeating invaders. You're, you're going to want um, Ling, definitely. Um... A little known fact, little known secret here. Get your Helena um, at least up to four stars, if not five star. Um, and here's the reason why. When doing Red Wolves, when doing Invaders, um, doesn't work for Behemoths, doesn't work for Rhineland uh, troops. Um, strictly for Red Wolves, Behemoths, Labs, um, during Biozone, this also works. Pair whichever officer you're trying to level. Like, yeah, I would pair Natalia with Helena for, like, Red Wolves. Um, because you're going to get... Where is it at? Okay. So, increases... This skill increases experience earned from victories by 20%. So... We go into the talents, and say if you max out the jungler tree, you're gonna get another eight percent, and you get another ten percent here. So add that up, what you get thirty percent. I think that's what thirty percent. That's what ten, eighteen, twenty percent. 
So you get an extra 38% experience for Helena and the officer that you're trying to level up. It's just an easier way. It's a faster way to level up your, your officer. So you pair like this, um, like Helena with your Natalia or whichever officer um, you're trying to level up. It's just an easier way. You'll save experience books. You'll be golden. Um, great way to earn passive experience without really having to do it. Same thing when you're grinding out invaders. Um, just use Helena. Make sure they're at least up to four or five stars that they can tier, that they can use a lot of units, of course. Um, you don't even have to put a good weapon on them. I mean, uh, as long as you're fielding Helena first in the first officer slot. Um, let's see here. Um, Dorothy, another good officer. Of course, you're using strictly, strictly for invaders, behemoths, um, anything that doesn't require PvP. Use Dorothy. You'll get good, um, good chest for it. Um, has great healing boost. Not to be mistaken for like actual combat. This, this is not useful for combat. Do not, I do not want to see Dorothy's out there. You see a Dorothy unit out there while you're fighting. You aim for it, and you'll kill it quick. And you'll just remove it off the field. I I love it when I see enemies throw out a Dorothy unit. I'm just like, money, okay. So, um, I think that's gonna be it for the officer pairings. Um, for the siege officers, I I'm not really. Not really a huge fan of them, to be honest. Um, I put so much work into the Dorian here, um, just for us to kind of switch away from rallies. And so that was kind of a waste here. But um, when it comes to, to solo attacking bases, um, I, I touched briefly on the Link and Diana march, uh, specifically for scaling them out for sieges. And what, I talk, what I'm talking about is, I'll show you. So when you go into attack a base, you should always have this, the, the first, the unit tree. So like tank, destroyer, tank, infantry, what have you. Always maxed out. Excuse me. The next one should always be siege. If you're planning on sieging, if you're planning on attacking enemy bases. Um, with swarming, with, with our swarming tactics, this shouldn't really matter, but it, it's always good to have. Otherwise, Stack them all in, into skill, and you'll increase your skill damage. But make sure, make sure you're always filling out the first unit tree slot first. The second one's always a toss-up. Unless it's a general, then you can go like siege and attack, or siege and, and skill, what have you. Um, but for any any of these officers, it we're, it it's really not even going to be a, a priority anymore. Um, I would say at this point. Make sure you have at least a good set of tank, anti-tank, and infantry officers out there. Don't even worry about siege. Uh, anyway, I feel like I've rambled enough to you all. I think you understand the concept, at least I hope you do. If you have any questions, of course, you can always leave a comment down in the video below or in the comment section below. Uh, but uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, leave a like, subscribe, uh, give me your feedback. Uh, honestly, I, I feel like I just rambled for 20 minutes, but if you like what you heard, if you felt like it was useful, just uh, let me know. But uh, anyway, you all have yourselves a wonderful evening, and I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.